Hello, friends. It is me yet again, uh, Tanner Grise. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little video. Um, I've been uh, comparing a regular uh, screw propeller, the conventional design that's been uh, used for the last almost 200 years, I believe. And then uh, what I did is I created, um, well, I turned the helix veins that I'd previously made, I turned them into a propeller. And then I uh, attached them to a boat here, like a little toy boat. Um, <laughs> let me try to show you. So yeah, I found that like the helix veins, uh, they worked better when I uh, when I cut them um, down. Like as you can see, it's very uh, it's just a slice of the, the helix veins, and I found that the efficiency went up uh, the shorter they got. Like with the full size, um, they were quite a bit slower. Like the the boat uh, was pushed slower than with a regular screw propeller. But as I cut it down, uh, as I cut the helix veins down uh, more and more, the uh, the thing got more and more efficient to the point where at some point it matched uh, the regular screw propeller. And then as I cut it down shorter, it actually surpassed the, uh, screw, the conventional screw propeller by about 5%. And interesting, interestingly enough, that sort of um, uh, ties in with my previous experiment uh, with the, the helix veins in the tube and the computer fan, if you've seen that. So, you know, that's pretty interesting, I think. And, uh, you know, it just proves to show how obsolete this design is, the 200-year-old the uh, propeller that, for some reason, no one's been able to figure out um, anything better. Well, I mean, there is the, uh, the um, I forget the name, the, the Sparrow propeller or something. Okay, the the uh, the Sharo Sharo propeller. Uh, that's um, supposedly uh, they're claiming twenty percent greater efficiency than the conventional screw propeller with this Sharo uh, propeller. So, you know, as interesting as my um, propeller design is. It's not really like um, competitive at this point. It's more like a novelty in that it surpasses the conventional design, but it's not actually leading edge. And uh, so, yeah, here it is. Um, I might as well turn it on. So this is the, uh, the, the Helix propeller. And uh, I, I did what um, somebody else mentioned uh, okay so I, somebody in the comments um, in my last video said that I should get away from batteries and I agree that batteries aren't very um, reliable because uh, you know it's hard to maintain a constant voltage and current and different batteries um, have been used different amounts of times so they have their chargeability has been compromised to, diff to varying degrees and they're not really very reliable. So what I did is I just hooked it up to a, um, a power box and I have a couple wires leading to uh, the shaft. Like one of them, one of the wires goes through the, um, the bearings and that's how it reaches uh, the boat. But the other uh, wire I had to build a little um, slip, uh, slip ring for. And I didn't want to take the system apart, so I built the slip ring into two pieces, and it looks kind of um, a little bit uh, shoddy, or you know, it's kind of a gargantuan creation. And I'm sorry for that. I, uh, you know, I don't build things to make them pretty. I just make them uh, to make them work. You know, it's just practical application. It's not um, cosmetic. So you know, if you don't like how it looks. Uh, 
you know, don't uh, look at it, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, uh, I'm gonna test this out to just to show you uh, how many times it uh, rotates in one minute. That's been my method. I just, I use my cell phone, the, um, the stopwatch feature. So uh, this is just kind of a demonstration. I mean, I've already recorded the results, like the results here, um, the regular uh, screw propeller rotated 8.7 times in one minute, whereas the Helix propeller that I have on there right now rotated 9.2 times. So, you know, it's not a huge amount, but it's 5% and it's just, it's interesting. Like there's room for improvement. You know, I could sand it down and then like uh, coat it with um, copper, like electroplating, I guess you would call it. So it'd be a smooth copper surface, which would further increase the efficiency. So potentially, you know, maybe I could max the system out at 10% more efficient than the conventional um, design. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna just turn it on. Um, um, maybe I can do this with one hand. Oops. Okay. It's kind of off, but this is just for demonstration purposes. It's a little bit sloppy. Uh, see how it's um, bouncing there? I mean, that's not really the best, but it works. So, you know, who cares really? <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, it's going pretty fast. Um, I gave it, I think, a second um, head start, so really I should stop this at 101, I would say. Okay. And then, uh, as you can see, it was over there, kind of where it started. Uh, and it rotated to nine. So because of where it was, and the starting point was kind of more over there, I would say that's about 9.2. And that's exactly what my paper says. It rotated 9.2 times. Regular was 8.75. So, uh, yeah. I'll turn. I'll, I'll show you the uh, conventional screw propeller just uh, so you can see the comparison. Okay, so here you can see the boat with the uh, conventional propeller. And yeah, I'm just uh, going to show you here. Like before, I'm going to um, run it for one minute and then we can compare uh, how many rotations it did in one minute. And it's being run at the exact same settings of uh, voltage and amperage. And uh, the whole thing sort of um, operates like a big compass. So it always ends up um, floating to that same spot, which is kind of kind of pointing north towards the North Pole. So yeah, so let's see uh, what happens here. I'm just going to try to do them at the same time. Okay. Okay, so we're getting close. I'm gonna turn it off right at about one minute. Okay. And as you can see, it wasn't quite at the nine uh, rotation mark. It's at about 8.8, .8, I would say. Um, so yeah, and 8.8 .8 will say, and my other experiment, I said it was at 8.75, so a little bit better. So, you know, maybe there's some margin of error, so maybe four to 5% um, advantage with the, uh, 
the helix propeller. It's just a little um, cut piece of the, uh, the larger helix um, veins that you've seen in previous videos. Uh, here it is. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I will see you all again next time. Bye.